and welcome to this week's preview show coming from Vitality Stadium. Neil Perrett is alongside me for the next 15 minutes or so to discuss all things AFC Bournemouth. Here's what's coming up. We'll be looking back at that 2-2 draw with Chelsea last weekend. We'll also be joined by Lewis Cook who talks us through his season. And finally, we will look ahead to tomorrow's big game at Anfield. Well, we're going to start back at that game last weekend, a 2-2 draw with Chelsea. Neil, uh, a draw on the day, was that the right result in the end? I think it was a fair result. I think um, either manager would have been disappointed if they if they hadn't got a point. Um, it was a really hard fought, really entertaining, entertaining game. You know, the stats showed that uh, Chelsea had a lot more possession than we did. And although they were trailing, chasing the equaliser, uh, I think it was deserved. And I think, you know, lots of Bournemouth fans would have settled for a point from that game before the game. So, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a point in the right direction. And with those two quick fire goals in the second half, Eddie Howe would have been delighted with the way his side, you know, came out at the starting blocks. Well, as I just said, talk about taking a point. Everybody would have definitely taken a point at half time. So to get back into the game in such spectacular fashion so quickly with, I think it was like 180 seconds between the two goals, was absolutely fantastic. And then, of course, getting the lead. Now everybody wants us to hang on. You know, and we're all in the same camp, but it gets to five minutes from time. Um, Chelsea, you know, who put a lot of pressure on in that in the, in the second half of the second half. And, um, you know, sometimes you've got to hold your hand up and say, yeah, they deserved it and they did deserve it. And, you know, talking about our performance, especially the man of the second goal was scored, you know, we created chances, we played, you know, flowing football and it looks like the Bournemouth that we're all used to, doesn't it? Well, the second goal in particular, as, you, as you've highlighted, the first goal was an absolutely fantastic set piece corner routine um, and one of the, you know, most powerful headers I think I've seen here for a long, long time. Uh, Jefferson Lerma, you know, fantastic header. Got really, everybody got really excited about that. Everybody's now thinking one-one will take that, and then blow me down. You know, three minutes later, fantastic Lewis Cook, great pass, Phil Billing, Jack Stacey, and there was uh, Josh King, and everybody had their heart in their mouth, didn't they, because of what happened at Burnley with VAR and what have you. But um, it was all done very quickly this time, and everybody knew the goal was going to stand. And for us, obviously, we're going to talk to Lewis Cook a little bit later on. But back in the team, what did you make of his performance on, on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, you know, everybody knows what an absolutely fantastic player Lewis Cook is. You know, he's got an England cap as well. Let's not forget that. What a fantastic player for Eddie Howe to have to bring into the team as and when the manager decides how he wants to play against certain opposition. And he obviously, Lewis Cook played in the 1-0 win at Stamford Bridge as well. I know that was on the wing in a slightly different position. But showed all of his class with that brilliant turn for the goal and the pass. So um, onwards and upwards for Lewis Cook from now on. Alongside him as well in, in central midfield, Jefferson Lerma, you mentioned his goal. We've previously spoken about his impact. No yellow cards, so he'll be available again this weekend. Obviously one more yellow and he's suspended for two. Yeah, um, you know, everybody's watching Jefferson Lerma, hoping that he's not going to get a yellow card. You know, we, we saw it in the Aston Villa game. He got that yellow card, which would have earned him a two-match ban, but then he got another yellow card and got sent off and got an automatic one-match ban. So a very curious rule. Um, but we're all looking at him on Saturday, hoping he doesn't get a yellow card and blow me down. He goes and gets a goal, which, you know, I don't think he'd scored since the last day of last season. What a fantastic goal it was. But, you know, that's, that's his game. You know, he, as I've said before, he's taken one for the team on a few occasions. He's probably saved some goals with some of those tackles that he's, he's had to make. So, um, you know, I don't think the manager will want to take anything away from his game. And every point in the Premier League is, is so crucial, none more so than on Saturday with a lot of other results, you know, that happened on the same day. Listen, it's going to happen. I think it was the first time for a very long time that the bottom three had all won their respective games. You know, it was their turn this week. Could be our turn this week or the following week. Who knows? It's going to happen. There's going to be lots and lots of twists and turns and ups and downs. There's 10 games to go. The countdown is on. Here we go. You know, we've got five at home and five away. Let's try and get as many points as we can just to stay above that line. Absolutely. Well, it's been another busy week here at Vitality Stadium and the Cherries have been working hard in training. Let's take a look at what they've been up to. Let's 
Well, the hard work certainly continuing this week. Now then, as you can see, we have been joined by midfielder Lewis Cook. Lewis, thank you for joining us. We're going to start back at that game against Chelsea last weekend. How was that from your perspective? Yeah, um, it was a tough one. Um, I think we started both halves very well, um, took the game to them. Um, I think we, we worked incredibly hard throughout the game and unfortunately we just couldn't get the, the, the three points. But um, I think it's another step in the right direction. Uh, lots of positives to take from that game and uh, hopefully we can take it to the next one. And going into a big game this weekend, how much confidence can a performance and you know a point against Chelsea do for you and the rest of the squad? Yeah, I think uh, I think it's massive. Um, take every point in the Premier League. I think we've always said, said that. And um, like I say, the, the positives from the game. I thought we we really we went after them, showed a lot of enthusiasm um, to press and and especially first uh, second half um, and did some good stuff on the ball, created chances. And I think on another day we could have took them, we could have got three points, but I just keep saying we'll take the positives from them like we do every game and take that into into this next game. Lewis is a very intense stage of the season now, so um, everybody sees what you do on the pitch on, on a Saturday. But what would you do after a game to sort of unwind, maybe a, a Saturday evening and a Sunday? Yeah, I think um, I think everyone's different. Uh, I think I'm just kind of a normal person. Just say if I've played and, and played most of the game, I'll just go get some food, probably a Chinese or something like that. Um, this weekend we went and watched uh, Jimmy Carr. He was at the Bic, so. Just went there for a bit. Uh, it was good. Uh, it was funny, but I was a bit tired. I think so. I don't think I made the, the, the whole sh the whole show. Can I get that out? The whole show. Um, but yeah, and then I'll just um, the next day just just go for a dog walk, like most people do with dogs. Um, and then yeah, just, just play my Xbox, chill out, and, and recover as well. I was going to say, how important is it um, for a top level athlete like yourself to 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 recover as well as w obviously what we see you do on the pitch, but. The other stuff is as important, I would imagine. Yeah, definitely. I think straight after the game, you've got to eat a lot of food and stuff, and, and make sure you're, you're playing sure all that kind of th that kind of thing. Um, I think most of the players now have got all these equipment that they have at home for recovery, um, normal sex and, and game readies and things like that. So um, spend a bit of time on the, on the sofa with them on, and spend a lot of time with them on to be fair, and uh, yeah, get that recovery done now. Obviously, last weekend it's it's been and gone now. Going into a new week, what's the the mood like been like in in the camp this week? Yeah, it's a new week. I think um, enjoy training again. Make sure we get everything done. Uh, make sure everyone's fully fully ready for the for the weekend physically. And yeah, I think it's just it's it's another week to to get the game plan right and make sure we we understand all our roles and responsibilities so we can go out there on, on Saturday and, and take it to them really. Put, uh, give everything we can to try and get the points. And talking about roles and responsibilities, you know, this season we've seen in the central midfield position a lot of different players play that role what's it like for you you know there's competition for places every single week does that make you you know raise your game and training and, and when you're out there yeah I think so I think everyone ever wants to be on the starting starting lineup um, we've got a lot of good players in, in similar positions so I said before in other interviews whoever's playing we're, we're right behind each other and we just want to get the three points to be honest um, and like I say there's been a lot of rotation I think everyone's done well when they've came in so yeah it's a healthy competition and we just want the three points really that's the main thing Lewis, everybody's asking, is now a good time to be playing Liverpool? Um, yeah, I think so. I think I think if we said it's midway through the season, we'd play them after after their 
last few games, I think we would have took it. So, um, look, Liverpool are a top, top team. Any games going to be tough against them. And if we, if we want to beat them, we're going to have to be on our best game. So, um, we knew that anyway. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll give it our all and, and see what can happen. We'd love to see a Bournemouth player scoring at Anfield. You've actually done that, haven't you? Yeah, you wouldn't think it, but yeah, uh, I actually scored at Anfield when I was younger playing for Leeds. So, uh, I think it was in the youth cup. Um, yeah, it was, it was great for me. It was one of my first goals in, in a big stadium. So, um, yeah, it was massive. It was a bit unfortunate though. Once I scored, the uh, the camera from the game panned onto a different player. So, um, didn't get that limelight, but nah, unfortunately getting the win. And, you know, going to Anfield, these games, you know, they're, they're huge games. How much does it drive you and the players, you know, having a challenge like this ahead of you, going to Anfield, seeing if you can get something? Does that, you know, motivate you even more? I think so. I think these are the games you want to be involved in. Um, I think when you're, you're a young kid and you watch games at Anfield and things like that, it's, it's something you dream of. So um, it's extra motivation, but um, I think we can try and go there and just think it's another game, uh, another chance to win three points and, and really sir. Get, get a little bit of momentum going towards the end of the season. So, um, yeah, we'll give it our all. It's a great place to play and we'll enjoy it. Well, Lewis, thank you for joining us. I'm sure we all wish you the best of luck on Saturday. Now then, that game tomorrow at Anfield is where our attention turns to next. Let's take a look at what Eddie Howe had to say in his pre-match press conference. Team news. Now, we still have the lads that um, the long-termers that still haven't trained with us. So you've got David Brooks, Arnold Danjuma, Chris Meppham who still haven't uh, joined, rejoined the group. They are working hard in their respective rehabs and getting closer. Um, Lloyd Kelly has trained this week, so that was great news. He's come through training, um, so that's a big lift for everybody. We need to be very, very good this weekend. It needs to be a difficult time to play us in every match. We can only control what we do, so I think the lads have trained really well this week. I think we were lifted by our performance against Chelsea. The last five games we've played in, I think we've performed a lot better. And the feel of the group is very good, I have to say, psychologically, we're responding well to the challenge that's in front of us. So I have to compliment um, Jurgen Klopp, his team, his players on, on what they've achieved to this point, because I think they've been, they've been incredible. And the way that they play, the intensity that they play at, it's very difficult to recreate that time after time after time. And that's why we know this is probably the ultimate test this season. This game for us is probably the hardest one we will face. We have to be at, at our absolute best. Anything other than our absolute best in this game is not going to be good enough. Well, that was Eddie Howe speaking in his press conference this morning. Neil, Liverpool, they've been so consistent all season, but all of a sudden they've had, had three defeats in a row, which is most unlike them. What, what do you put that down to? Zoe, where's it all gone wrong for Liverpool? Only 22 points clear at the top of the Only league, I think they are points. now. Where's it all gone wrong? Well, listen, you know, when you're on a, an unbeaten run, it comes to an end. You know, it doesn't matter who you are. You know, you look at the Arsenal Invincibles, it, it, it comes to an end. Um, they're a formidable team. People need to look back to the last time they lost at home in the Premier League, which was nearly three years ago. It was the same month that we managed to get a 2-2 draw there. So, you know, is it a good time to play Liverpool now? Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's the question that everybody's asking now and it's, it's so obvious. But, um, you know, there isn't really a good time to be playing Liverpool, is there? I mean, they are, like I said, they're formidable. Um, they've been like a juggernaut this season. And OK, they've just had three results that nobody would have expected. But, you know, they've had them. So we've got to make sure that, you know, we can keep that run going. Well, you, you mentioned their home form. Obviously, all three of those defeats have come away from home. But we go back to that West Ham game on, on a Monday night a couple of weeks ago. Liverpool go 1-0 up within, I think it was eight minutes. And then West Ham still somehow managed to go on and, and nearly win. So there's, there's signs there, confidence for us that we can take from that West Ham performance going to Anfield that we can score goals and you know we can perhaps come away with something well we know we, we know we can score goals and we know we can score goals on the road we know we've you know as the manager said you know the past five performances have been a lot more encouraging he will have scrutinized that West Ham Liverpool game for hours on end he'll be looking for any little areas where he thinks that you know he can possibly see a, any form of weakness which there haven't been many for for Liverpool this season let's be let's be honest so um you know we can go there and we can go there with a little bit of confidence after the Chelsea performance we can go there with some confidence after their past three results but um you know let you know you talk about complacency and stuff like that you can't even mention things like that when you're going to Anfield to play Liverpool you know, you know you're going to be in for a hard game. And obviously the last couple of weeks they've had no Jordan Henderson. He's been out with, I believe, a hamstring injury. He's likely to be out again this weekend. Does that change the dynamic at all for us? Um, 
I don't think so. I think, you know, I said that the manager will have looked at their performances, you know, and he, if he can see anywhere to, to, to exploit. But, um, you know, Jordan Henderson might be out. So they bring in, you know, another world-class player. That's what, that's what you've got to remember with Liverpool. They've got an embarrassment of riches. They've had a lot of games. Maybe that could, you know, count against them. Jurgen Klopp's obviously got a decision to make. I'm sure that he will want to win the Premier League as soon as possible. So I would imagine that he'll pick a really strong team against us. Um, so you know there won't be um, there won't be any half measures from from Jurgen Klopp on Saturday. So we're going to have to go there and, and give it everything to get anything from the game. Well, you mentioned all these other players. Where do we start? Sadio Mane, you know Mo Salah, even Alisson in goal. Their team is flooded with with talent, isn't it? Well, and you know we're all cashing in in the fantasy Premier League with all of those players all season. They've been getting loads and loads of points for everybody. And all of a sudden, I think they call it a coupon buster with what happened at Watford. It's certainly an FBL coupon buster with people getting single figures, weren't they, and stuff like that. But um, yeah, like I said, it's it's an embarrass an embarrassment of riches. You know, they could go there like they've done in you know in the League Cup. I think it was. You know, they fielded a, a younger team, if not a youth team, narrowly bowed out of that competition against um, Aston Villa, but having beaten Everton in the previous round. So um, there's going to be no easy games at Anfield for anybody. And as for us, you know, for the first time in however long, no fresh injury concerns. And that will be a huge delight for Eddie Howe, won't it? Absolutely fantastic. You know, you're going to uh, the champions elect. Let's make no secret of that. You know, they're going to win the title eventually. Um, you want your strongest possible team to play them. We're going there on the back of three defeats for them. You know, you, you, people call these games like a free hit or you, you've got nothing to lose and stuff like that. Well, you know, you, you could say that, but we've got a we've got a good side and things, you know, things are coming together and they need to start coming together. It's that sort of business end of the season now. So, um, you know, there's no reason why we can't go there and uh, give it our best and maybe come away with something. Well, here's hoping we can come away with something. Now then, if you are going up to Anfield, make sure you have a safe journey. But if not, keep an eye on BBC Radio Solent and AFC BTV for the latest updates with Chris Temple and John Williams. Bye for now.